Christy has two children with her ex-boyfriend, Stephen. And even though he has never met his four-year-old son, Stephen denies that he's the father. Christy is fed up with his denials and wants a DNA test to prove that Stephen is the father of her four-year-old son. These results and more on today's Steve Wilco Show. I am 5,000% sure that that is his son. First of all, you told them they wasn't my kid. You lying ass bitch. You told them that you didn't even know that he was the father. My wife wants me to throw your ass off the stage. Goodbye. I want him to be a part of his kid's life for them to know that they have a daddy too. This is the very first time he's ever seen this little boy. Let's get the test. Hey, I came for you him. You came for him. I came for him. Why haven't you been there for five years then? Child molestation happens in this country all the time, and you can't tell by looking at somebody if they're a child molester or not. I love you too much to do that, man. This is my son. He's not making it up. Somebody is hurting my child. Mark Tess came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked him one question. Did you ever sexually molest Erica's son? He answered no. And the results for his lie detector test is that. So your ex, Stephen, what kind of a, a father is he? Well, he really isn't a father at all. He hasn't been a father to my children since my daughter was nine months, and he's never seen his four-year-old child. So she was nine months old. Yes. Um, you had a boy. I had a boy. And, and he hasn't seen him at all. No, since he's been Ever. born. And he's going to be five years old in four days. Do, do your kids ask about Stephen? They ask about him so much. I mean, like, he, he'll say that he's going to come and visit them in the summer, and he never comes. The winter holidays will come, and they'll pass. He won't get anything for them. He won't do anything. Like, so he doesn't get anything for Christmas? He doesn't get them anything for Christmas. Birthdays. He doesn't do anything for their birthdays. Like, I'm just so fed up with it. He never denied his daughter until like today. He was there for the birth. He signed the birth certificate. And he was there until she turned nine months. And that's when I left him when she was nine months. But Why did you leave him? I left him because I was fed up with him not like um, helping us financially at home. Um, he was like running the streets with all the neighborhood thugs and doing drugs and like just drinking and not being a family man. Okay. Um, you heard now that he's engaged to a new woman. That's no problem with me. I, I'm, I'm not worried you've, about that. You've moved on past. I, the only reason why he's with this woman now is because after I had my son, I didn't get back with him. My son turned one, I didn't get back with him. He turned two, I didn't get back with him. Three, I didn't get back. He's been begging for years to be with me. And he's a low life, so I decided to do better with my life and leave him. Any chance uh, that the son isn't his? I am 5,000% sure that that is his son. Never, never, ever cheated on him. Do you, do you want him in their life? I want for him to be able to be a part of his children's lives. That's all they beg for. I want him to be a part of his kids' life, for them to know that they have a daddy too. He doesn't know anything. He's never sent them any clothes, any shoes. He's never done anything for them. Has he ever given you any money? He has given money once, like $50, because I had to beg for it. And how long ago was that? That was like um, when school started at the beginning of the school year. I begged him and I told him that the but kids. But fifty dollars goes a long way, right? Fifty dollars for two kids starting school. Let's bring out your ex, Stephen. How the hell are you gonna sit up here and lie? How are you gonna sit up here and lie? You have First of all, you told them they wasn't my kid. You were there for the six-year-old daughter, yeah. right? And you put your name on the birth certificate. Yeah. So if you didn't think you were the father, why'd you sign the birth certificate? Because she said it after. I okay. Think that after some so relationships. Hold on. Relationships uh, go sour, and people 
say things to hurt the other person. Yeah, but right? you don't say nothing like that. But she did. Especially when you're there taking care but of But just because she says it doesn't make it right. a, a Family fact. Family members said that. Right? It never came out of my mouth. I never told you that. And when you asked me, I specifically told you that you our daughter to tell, belongs you to you. To tell I them told for you them that to say our it. daughter belongs to you. You had to tell I, them. You know in your heart. You had to tell them. I don't know. I don't know nothing. You should do for your kids. If you would have never told me, if you would have never told me the kids were mine, if you would have never told me the kids were mine, Everything still would have been copa steady. But now you sit out here tomorrow, I ain't said nothing. One time. Never. You are a grown man who sleeps with women, who gets them pregnant, and then you run away from the responsibility. You lying ass bitch. You found him that you didn't even know that he was the father. My wife wants me to throw your ass off the stage. Goodbye. You are a grown man who sleeps with women, who gets them pregnant, and then you run away from the responsibility. Now, you have a daughter with your name on the birth certificate. So just because she says, oh, it's not yours, and she's saying she didn't say it, but even if she did, it does not relieve you of your responsibilities of your daughter. Hey, Who's boy. stopping you from going to see that little girl? Her. She's stopping Yes. You. She's here today because she wants to keep you away. No, she's here today to try to break up me and my relationship because we've been having this goal. We've been having trouble. Okay. Okay. She doesn't want a relationship Listen, with you. The problem was... She wants... She kids, wants the right. father of her children to be in their lives. Right. The problem is, we have conversations. How much a money have ago, you given her? Two months ago. How much money have you given her? All together, probably about two, three thousand dollars here and there. Oh! Right. Hold on, hold on. What's the total? Give me a total. Uh, three, three thousand. Three thousand dollars. So, a five-year-old boy and a six-year-old girl. Right. So that's three thousand uh, dollars. You know, divided amongst eleven years, right? What does that come out to? <laughs> Not much. Not much. How, but how, she, she how do you have a son that you've never met? Uh, when we, before she had the son. How do you have a son you never met? Just break it okay, down. Okay, we was already separated at okay. the time. Okay. And she came two months later and said she was, three months later and said she was pregnant. Okay. But we was already separated. I moved out the house and left her the house and the kids. You still were sleeping with her though, right? No. When, before you moved out, you weren't sleeping with her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how do you let a little boy go through life and she's saying, it's yours. Right, right. How do you go and not make an effort to at least beat the boy? Just... Is it me or does he look a little bit like you? Hard to say. This is the first time you ever saw him. Yeah. I can't imagine Seeing my son for the first time when he's five years old. For, right. This is the very first time he's ever seen this little boy. Never even a picture. I'm going to bring um, Christy back out. I think uh, when he saw your son up on the screen, kind of looks a lot like him. That doesn't mean anything. Could, you know, could be not. But... Uh, Ted, I've sent him a picture. I've sent him pictures before. He said he looks just like him, out of his own mouth. Who's lying here about all this money that he's sending? He's you? lying about the money because the last time, okay, fifty dollars at the beginning of the school year, no. three three months ago, and then okay, um, I think around the Christmas holidays last year, he said fifty dollars again. I mean, what is that? Chris. That is nothing. I don't deserve to have to go through this. What I'm going through. I didn't through with say these you children. did, but at the it's same time, right. you you. It's not right. It's not right. It just simply isn't. Okay, but why it took so long more. then? Why it took so long? You should do more. Why did it take so long? Why you didn't tell me all this? These are the questions you need ago. to be asking yourself. Yeah, that's 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 the truth. I don't like myself, I can't get in touch with Hold on, hold on. I've been told. How are you gonna get Listen, in touch with you, you are a grown man who sleeps with women, who gets them pregnant, and then you run away from the responsibility. <laughs> I 
run away. I do not run away. What are you busy with? You don't work. I do. She's raising two children and working. She might be a little and busy. Going to school. What are you doing? Trying what are you so busy with that you can't get your ass over there and meet those kids? <laughs> your new fiance is here. Let's meet your new fiance, Victoria. stage lying acting like he's a dead beat he does everything he can he's got a four-year-old little boy he's never met because of her let's get the test i came for, came for him i came for him why haven't you been there for five years then Steven no, is going through too he's, much. Steven has been through too much. He's got a four-year-old little boy he's never met. Because of her. What I don't understand is, why are you so upset? Because she on the stage lying, acting like he's a dead beat. He does everything he can. What's Steven everything? Steven has been through What's a lot. What's everything? Huh? What's everything? What's everything? Yeah. He has seen her $300 knowing that he has been nowhere have nowhere to stay for the past three months they're his kids i understand that of course if i had the money i would do too i'm the one who told him call this woman the whole month of last month i told him to call her okay cause, so cause so he sent three hundred dollars he sent three hundred dollars huh he been trying to do as much as he can like she what? keeps changing her phone now like what has he done huh what has he done he told her he'll come come to see him come to see the kids and but everything he has no way. She ever. She didn't offer so, nothing. She so, didn't offer nothing. So he hasn't done anything. He he tries. He's got a four-year-old little boy he's never met. Because of her, the things he did. Oh, that's the reason why. Okay. okay. What about the little boy? I think the child is his. That's what she should be thinking. Okay. I think the child so is his. But she needs to stop coming at me like that because she don't know me and I don't know her. But I say the child looks just like him. The child looks just like him. Do you, have anger, do you have anger issues? Yes, I do have anger yeah. issues. That's why she shouldn't say the wrong things to me. You're, there's nothing stopping your Steven, fiance. Steven nothing. is going through too he's, much. Steven has through been through too, too, much. too much. She's one reason why. She's one reason why. He can't even trust to be around her like that unless so, he got somebody with so him. So someday, someday when you have kids. Steven's going to be there. Trust be, that. Oh, he'll be trust there. Steven's going to be there. You know what I'm saying? He's so, there now. So, the ring is on my finger, so, so he's going to be there. And Steven, and Steven was there for nine months of his daughter's life. Exactly. That means he wants no to more. be around. And then no more. That means he wanted to be around. What nine about, months plus nine months. What about months. the last five and a half years? She could have came down there. She, why can't she come? Why What's does it have to wrong be one person? Him? Ain't nothing wrong with him. Ain't nothing wrong with bro? him. Ain't nothing wrong with him. I saw walk across the street. It doesn't matter. She's raising see. two kids. It doesn't matter. She still didn't come from. to see him. She still didn't come to see him. <laughs> Let me get this right. She should she bring can, the kids both of them should do so she could go see Steven. Both of them should do But he 50, can't get 50. his ass down and see his two both kids. Both of them should do 50 50. Both of them should do 50 50. So who has it harder right now? A uh, six year old little girl that when daddy daughter dance comes around, uh, where's mom? Where's my dad? I'd like my dad to take me to the dance. Uh, or a five-year-old little boy who's like, oh my God, all my friends have dads. I see these dads on TV, and I don't know where my dad is. The so there's two little kids yeah. who don't know where their father is, 
And a single mom who, you know, let's face it, single mom, gets up every morning, gets them to school, feeds them, has to go to work, then race home, pick up her kids, bathe them, feed them, do their homework, all this by herself. Or Steven, whose only responsibility is himself. Who the has kids. it harder? The kids. Do. Okay. So wouldn't you say, uh, Steven, you know, Christy's had the short end of the stick here, right? She's got the short end of the stick. Right. So you're with a man that has denied his children for years and he years and years. He hasn't denied his child. That's the wrong thing. He has not denied his child. He's here he today to find about children. DNA test. You know why? He, he comes up here to find okay. about it because she called Let's him. Let's bring your wonderful she fiance him. back she out. She called him. <laughs> No, you were young and dumb. Yeah. Yeah. I was nineteen. You, 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 you were nineteen. You were just young. You were just young. You were nineteen. You were just beginning to You were just beginning to ask me. You were just My wife wants me to throw your ass off the stage. Goodbye. Okay, okay. Um, you know, it's really bad. I have a low tolerance for people. My wife has a high tolerance. And and my wife does not like your fiance. <laughs> so that should tell you something. Let's get the test. I came for you him. You came for him. I came for him. Why haven't you been there for five years then? <laughs> I love you too much to do that, man. This is my son. He's not making it up. Somebody is hurting my child. You are the father. You're off my stage. I came for you him. came for him. I came for him. Why haven't you been there for five years then? The sad thing is, and I want you to be fully prepared, the fact that, that even if this is up. his son, that nothing's going to change. He might not change. step up. Nothing is going to change. Right. You came here. I don't know why, but you did. Probably so you get a. Called well, you know why you came? I because I paid for crew. your airline ticket. No, that ain't why I, I came. put you in a hotel and I fed that you. Why I That's came. why you came. I didn't call the show. Remember that? So what? I didn't call. So I didn't what? Have to so what? I you didn't call, him. but you came. I came for you him. came for him. I came for him. Why haven't you been there for five years then? <laughs> Because you ain't even my enemy. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm not your enemy. No, you ain't. But the fact of it is, I know why you came. Because you got a free trip out of it. No. That's why. Okay, Steve, you believe The that, results, okay? I do believe that. All right. No, but the results, pressed me to come. The results. The results. Let's go. By the way, this costs money, too. I know that. Okay. That I paid for. Thank you very yeah. much. You're sir. welcome. Uh, Steven, you are the father. Right. All right. Steven, you are the father of Christy's four-year-old child. There you have it. Okay. There you have it. There okay. you have it. Um, I know. You. I've been knowing all my life, all, all his life. That you that's have your case. son here today. I do. Okay. And he knows his dad's here. And he does. Yeah. And he's expecting to see him. And that's the only reason why I'm going to let him see his father. Okay. It's not about, it's not about okay. his father seeing yeah. him. It's about his father seeing his father.
him see his comic because he's been begging all these years okay. to see his Okay, now daddy. this little boy who wants nothing more than to meet his father, he's here. And that'd be like waking up on Christmas and saying, you know, Santa's in the next room, but you don't get to meet him. Right. I'm sure that this son of yours has those same feelings, like this is one of the biggest moments in his life. And I don't want to deny a little right. boy of meeting his father. Now, I saying this right now, I don't want her anywhere around this, your fiance. Yeah. Nowhere around it. Right. Um, and I, I, wanted, I want this to happen, really for the little boy. I hope that once you meet the little boy, there's something that will rise up in you. We'll keep you up. And what I hope is that you'll promise that after you see the little boy, that you'll tell him, son, I'm going to come down to Florida and I'm going to be with you. Will you say that, that to your son when you go back to the green room? I mean it. Okay, yeah. let's go back and meet your son for the first right. time. Hey, baby. That's daddy. Hey, baby. Hey, daddy. How you doing? Hey. Daddy, love you. I'm I'm got you, okay? Mm -hmm. Child molestation happens in this country all the time, and you can't tell by looking at somebody if they're a child molester or not. Cortez came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked him one question. Did you ever sexually molest Erica's son? Child molestation happens in this country all the time, and you can't tell by looking at somebody if they're a child molester or not. Ten months ago, Erica kicked her boyfriend, Martez, out of their house and out of her life. But she's willing to give him a second chance. All he has to do is prove that he did not molest her four-year-old son. Take a look. I want to know what happened to my son. I lost my kids for five months and it really destroyed my, my life and my relationship. A few months ago, my son told me that my boyfriend for two years sexually molested him. My son said that my boyfriend, Martez, made him private area. When it first happened, I didn't think that he done it, but none of my children are here, so that's why I'm here today. I really do feel in my heart that something did happen to my son, but I just didn't think that he remember who had done it to him. He was a little confused about who did it because he said several different people's name at first. After the accusations came out, me and Martez, we did split up, and it was very hard because we were together for two years and we, pretty, we had a pretty good relationship. I still love Martez. If he passed the test, there's a possibility that we could still get back together. If he did molest my son, I will press charges against him because I would want him to go out and do that to someone else's child. I have my children back now. Um, I promised my kids that I would never let anyone harm them and I'm going to protect my kids to the best of my ability as a mother. Martez, you know you're here because you're accused of molesting a four-year-old? So you got to stand up. Um, um, did you do it? No. No. I didn't do it. There ain't nothing that I ever do that don't fit my characteristic. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, he may have been confused. He go into detail, so I think something happened to him. So you do believe something happened yeah. to him? It's yeah. just, you're saying, wasn't, wasn't Definitely you. wasn't me. Um, 
why do you think that you are being accused? I'm the only person that's always around him. We had people staying with us for a few months. After that, for like the past year, I've been the only one around him. How did you find out you were being accused? A uh, daycare provider brought the kids home, and she put us to the side. She said, look, such and such said that I made him do that to him. And when she told, she like, you know how it came out? I really didn't believe it, but that's such a serious accusation. You know what I'm saying? It can't be overlooked. So that was kind of the end of it. She like, we're going to get back with you or whatever. And uh, someone in Erica's family called CPS. CPS came a few hours later. They're like, you know, they went through everything. They're like, so what happened? I'm like, look, I don't know. I'm shocked. I just came home from work to this, like not even 20 minutes. And I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? They like, so why, basically, why would he say that? I'm like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could tell you. I, I mean, want to know. A four-year-old's can articulate pretty well, right? Right. Describe what happened. Mm -hmm. um, did you do anything to prove that you didn't do it? Off top, first thing that came out of my mouth, I'm like, let me get a polygraph. Or is there uh, someone you can have talk to me, interview me, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I can do to get this resolved, let's do it right here, right now. They say, okay, we're going to get back with you with that. Okay. I let time fly. I'm not even supposed to be around them. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just letting stuff fly, and I'm getting a hold of them myself. Like, a month later, I'm like, hey, what's up? You, you ain't got Did back with me Did she kick you out of the house? Yeah, I, yeah. How, how soon after the allegation did she kick you out? I left, a, I left voluntarily the same you day. You left the same day? The same day. All right. So then you're waiting for these results to come in, the I'm waiting for them to, they, they saying they're going to investigate me, you know, him and her other kids. Right. And they saying they got professionals that can tell me if I'm lying from talking to me. So I'm like, where they at? You know what I'm saying? Right here. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, where the problem there is at? So, so and did they bring these professionals in? Not for me, no. No. And they, you didn't take a lie detector test? No. Are you and Erica still together? No. You're broken up? Yeah. Do you still love her? Yeah, I, I got strong feelings for her. That, that was my baby, man. I, that's what I'm saying. I love her too much. I love her kids too much to even pull anything like that, man. Right. Straight up. Um, let's bring out uh, your ex. Uh, let's bring out Erica. Why would my son say that you did this to him <laughs> if you didn't? That's something a child cannot make up. Right. Do you know what I've been through? Yeah. I lost my kids for five months. I lost my job. I lost my house. I had to do parenting classes. I had to take drug classes. I was Everything. homeless. I slept in my car. I felt empty. I felt lonely. I felt just nothing without my kids. And it's because of you. This is my son. He cannot speak for himself. He is an innocent child. And I'm here standing up for him today. I love you, but I love my child more. Seriously. Mark Tess came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked him one question. Did you ever sexually molest Erica's son? And he answered no. And the results for his lie detector test is that Mark Tess came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked him one question. Did you ever sexually molest Erica's son? And as a single mother, yeah, you did take me and my kids in when I was down. But all at the same time, I need to know why would he say that? Why would he just come out of what? nowhere what? and what? say okay. that... You molested him. You made okay. him wicker whacker. Okay. So, so everything we came up. Why you think? We talked about this millions of times. Why do I think? You can I talk think, about that now if you want to. I think that you know what I think. I think that my son has been sexually molested, but at the time when he first, when I very first asked my son, he did say no, that he didn't do it. But then, like when he went to daycare and he went. 
uh, over family relatives house he was coming back saying more things like he was saying different people had done it he said um, could have done it to him and he said mommy that big yellow teddy bear he kept because he remember bits and pieces of what happened because he's only four years old right. and it happened to him like when he was he like, was like younger two. but he came out and said it like later right right after because um, he said he was having nightmares about it. So you you believe in some way he was molested? He was molested okay. because I asked my child, I, okay, my kids were taken for five months. When I first asked my child, he gave when they came back home, I just got them back September of this year. When they came back home, he told me the exact same thing. So he's not making it up. Somebody right. is hurting my child. Do you believe it's Martez? I don't believe that is Martez, but you never know nowadays. People That's... are crazy. People do sick stuff. You never know. I mean, you have to believe your child over any man, <laughs> any woman, whatever, whoever you with. You have to believe your child um, because if he didn't do, if he did do it. Then you would feel so well, hurt and hey, empty. You know what? That's a that's a very healthy attitude that you have. The right attitude, I believe. Um, now, you this was a serious relationship. You had been with him for a couple of years, right? And a lot of love for him. Yes, he took me in when I didn't have nowhere to go. He took you in, and I trusted him. I didn't think he was. He seemed and, like. And how how did he treat you the two years you were together? I mean, he treated me good. He was there. He worked. He came home. He wasn't the ones that stayed out all night and stuff like that. He came home. He worked. And how did he treat your children? He helped my oldest child because at the time my oldest child was in school, so he helped her with her homework. He might have fed them and did stuff like stayed so up he, with them when I fell asleep or he something. Was a, like he was a good guy. Right. Okay. Um, tell me about the five months that you were without your children. When I lost my children. I was just devastated. I lost my job. I lost my house. I lost my job because I was so stressed out. I lost my house then because I couldn't pay my bills. Then I had to go through drug classes, parents. I mean, when you in CPS, they make you go through so much and to get your kids. And this is all because of the allegations. All because of, because of, of the this, allegations. Of this, what happened with your son. Right. And I got to mention, five months without your children, uh, it was very hard. I can, I can imagine. I didn't know if no one was abusing them while they was gone. I didn't know if they were sleeping right. I mean, they probably could have been calling for me. I wasn't there. I didn't want them to think it was because I didn't want to be there. I love my children with all my heart. Even though I'm a single mother, I'm a strong single mother. There you go. Um, Now, Martez comes here, and he took a lie detector test, whether uh, he did this or not. Uh, he wants to prove his innocence. And if he failed, obviously, this is a, a case where you would pursue legal action against Martez. Right. But say Martez, he's been the good guy that he's always been. He passes his lie detector test. Would you take him back? I mean, we all, that would be something we would have to talk about and discuss. Sure. But you still love him. Right. That's why I wanted to get, uh, that's why I wanted to know. It was eating me up. Okay. I couldn't go another day without knowing if he did this to my son. Well, let's hope that he did not. Okay. Martez came here and took a lie detector test and we asked him one question. Did you ever sexually molest Erica's son? And he answered no. And the results for his lie detector test is that. Why is it? Martez came here and took a lie detector test and we asked him one question. Did you ever sexually molest Erica's son? And he answered no. And the results for his lie detector test is that he did not tell the truth. <laughs> Nah, she cool, she yeah, cool. Eric, no, 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 it's no, cool. No, 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 no
Man, How many times did we give it to you? You gave it to me three times back to back. Erica on my dead door, on my grand, on my so square So they just hold a lot of Texas Why lying. am I going to call? Why am I going to tell you? Why am I going to suggest coming here? My we, no hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, we, hold get, on. we gave it to you four times. Four times. But, man, I swear to God, we, I'm paying for it. As soon as we get home, I'm paying for another one. I swear to God, Erica, Erica, are you serious? Am I serious? Man, I'm not this to that. Is, um, man, unfortunately, nah. this is not the result that anybody wants. Nobody wants this result. This my guy, y'all don't got to believe me on nothing. I'm taking it when I go home. That's I don't care. I don't care. You take it I want to bring out Dan Rebikoff, who gives our test. Bring him out. Yeah, bring him out. How about what Dan? Um, I swear, error. I swear, I swear to God. I swear to God. Hold on. Okay. Swear to God. Swear to God. Swear to God. This is. To say it they is. Swear. Maybe. I don't care. Maybe the test is wrong, Dang. Dan. It's. Well, is it? No, Steve. Dan, the mouse can. Work? Well, the mouse can lie, but the brain can't. There's issues here with the subject really not cooperating in the beginning. He was advised by the production staff at least four to five times not to use illegal drugs or to drink alcohol from the time that he was booked to the time that he left on the plane to, uh, to last night. And uh, this morning he tells me, oh, I smoked pot last night. So that's, that's an issue so, so of, what, of so, what, so what are you saying? That, what, that so I'm saying you're not cooperating. Was he testable? Absolutely, Steve. I tested him four times. He failed four polygraph exams. Thanks a lot, Gary. Thank you. Okay. I wonder if I was accused of child molestation. Man, I'm cool, man. And I need to do it. More hold on. Than that. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. That's what I'm saying. You think I'm going to keep you Hold on. You think I'm going to really keep you Hey, keep yelling. It'll make man, you innocent, right? Up, man. Keep yelling. What? I ain't trying to. I'm saying something Bruh, now. Man, say what you got. Say I got to say it. If you shut your mouth, I'll say it. Shut up, then. You shut Get off my stage. Just I'm gonna talk to you. Honestly, I do the show a lot, and we do the story a lot, and unfortunately, these are the results we get. Child molestation happens in this country all the time. All you gotta do is pick up a paper and read about it, and these guys are doing it. And you can't tell by looking at somebody mm -hmm. if they're a child molester or not. The wolf invited you in, and unfortunately, you needed help and you took it. You didn't know this guy was evil. And I'll, I'll say this. Somebody's accused of child molestation, right? One of the worst things you can be accused of. He's coming here to prove that he didn't do this. And we tell him, don't do drugs. Don't smoke marijuana. A hundred times he tell him. And what does he do? <sighs> Is that the action of an innocent man? No. No. You know what? You said something, and every time I meet someone like you on my show, I love it. Strong single mother. Strong single mother. Um, I guess as long as I do this show, I'll be meeting guys like that. Right. And it depresses me. And it makes me angry. And it pisses me off. But the only thing, by doing the show, it just makes me want to protect my kids and everybody else's more and more and more. <laughs> Whatever we can do to help. Thank you.